Have you ever sat down and analyzed your recurring expenses? How to manage your recurring expenses? When is the last time you assessed how much you spent in a month? Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for clicking. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to manage your recurring expenses. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Casey and on this channel, we talk about finance, personal development, travel and charity of course if that is your kind of content kindly consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video on to the topic of the day have you ever sat down and analyzed your recurring expenses and in most cases people look at their basic expenses as recurring expenses but it goes beyond the basic expenses for instance Someone may look at it as if maybe these are wants, but in some instances, it's more than wants. For example, when is the last time you assessed how much you spent in a month on charity, how much you have given out, how much you have wasted? I don't know whether people consider sometimes there is wastage that happens, but I am asking you to test yourself and see when is the last time you assessed your wastage because we always waste and then sometimes when you get home you is when you realize why did i have to spend on that for instance if you ever bought something from hawkers and when you get home you don't find it looking the same way as you bought it that is wastage if you bought something you kept it in the house and you have never used it for a very long time that is wastage imagine if you walk into your closet how many outfits have you not worn in the last three months let's not even go to six months in the last three months if you have not been wearing them that is wastage go to your kitchen check that item that you bought that you have not used in the last two months for me i think it's the food processor but mine came as a package so i use different pieces so i can't say it's a full waste but the main processor itself i don't remember the last time i used it but i use the mincer i use the other parts basically so i can't say it's a waste but still if i look at it from the perspective of wastage that is one wastage as we work on checking our recurring expenses that will be managed even better if we avoid wastage. Now, those are just highlights. Let's get on to the main things of the video. The first thing you need to do is have a list of your expenses. Sometimes people, they say they have their list in their mind. They have their list somewhere. But my suggestion is have your list written down. Just know each and every expense that you incur every month, every quarter, every half year, and annually, so that you are able to plan ahead. Remember some of the expenses like insurance could be annual, like subscription could be quarterly, and other expenses, so you need to spread them, so that if you're not in a position to pay one of, say for instance, if your insurance you're not able to pay within one installment you can plan ahead and see how much you can save towards that insurance or that expense so that when it comes to now making the payment it does not strain your budget comment down below if you start planning about your quarterly annually semi-annually expenses when they are about to fall due sometimes i am a victim but it is work in progress for me it can be the same case for you you have your list you need to assess whether everything in that list is necessary and out of the list what is wastage for instance if you have internet and you still pay for TV sometimes one of it may end up being wastage if you don't use both of course if you use them it's well and good assess what you don't use and you can actually use it to cut your expenses or to cut your wastage comment down below the last thing you just realized 
that you have been spending money on and you're not utilizing there are some expenses that you cannot cut on or are fall in between wastage and being utilized instead of fully disconnecting the service or deactivating the service you can check the option of what if something like that you can negotiate lower or take a lower package which covers your needs only and you don't find yourself spending extra money on it also you can look for the cheaper options for instance if your groceries are what is eating up on your budget you can just check in between which items that you can forego or you get a cheaper version some of these products if you ask me they are more or less the same sometimes people buy the brand but of course there are those which are good but just evaluate and see if you're buying the brand or you're buying just a product which serves you as well as as if it is the so-called big brands the next thing on your recurring expenses if it is anything that you cannot adjust downwards or upwards of course maybe upwards can happen but you cannot adjust you can just automate it so that now you have whatever you cannot automate listed down somewhere and you get to pay in due cost for instance if you're in a position to automate your key expenses please do in in the month of july my water was disconnected for only 380 kenya shillings what is the reason because I, I when the bill comes it is late when i'm reviewing my expenses i do them at the end of the month the water bills come somewhere in the middle of the month and if i forget it means now i will be stuck can you imagine struggling to get my water reconnected for 380 shillings 380 and coincidentally the payment was made the same day see when the guy was leaving the office my water was not paid but by the time he was going back my water was paid you can imagine if i had a system of perhaps if i can assess my bills and pay on time and just pay the amount that i'm used to paying maybe i could have saved myself the agony and it is not funny getting water reconnected if you have not checked your water bill maybe it's time comment down below with how you are working and managing your recurring expenses especially during these times when the cost of living is very high i think i'll leave it at that i don't want to have a very long video and thank you so much for watching this video if you're new kindly consider subscribing and join the jess family we talk about finance personal development travel and charity if this is your kind of content kindly consider subscribing and ensure the notification bell is on so that you're notified every time we upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber viewer thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos we value you and we value your continued support and your feedback most of these videos are inspired by your comments your feedback and it gives us the next content ideas it is never taken for granted see you on our next one bye